All right, here we are tinkering wall phone. My father is working on restoring. I'm helping him out with the electronic end of it a little bit. And discovered a little bit about the phone system that I didn't know. Um, here you can see that this old phone has got uh, a ringer that was recovered from, I think, a commercial application in the 70s, so certainly not original. And if you look a little closer here, you can see that there are some extra springs tied to this old thing. There used to be mechanical clappers, um, basically the bells here. Clapper, I'm, it's not the right word, I misspoke. And then my father extended this put this piece of brass out on the outside so um, I've tinkered with it to get the length right and get uh, the right amount of mass and spring on here so that this whole business will be resonant right about 20 Hertz now this ringer at one time before it had all this modification done to it if the focus would work correctly on this thing you'll see that there's a little uh, 25 tilde off to the left of that yellow label indicating that this ringer was originally resonant at 25. But when my father extended it and added that clapper, it took the resonant frequency down just above 10 somewhere from what I could tell. Uh, and so we need to bring it back up to 20 where residential phones like to ring. So a um, couple of springs here from Harbor Freight uh, kind of does the job. So if we come over here to this uh, our museum piece uh, HP signal generator. Um, go ahead and turn the turn the amplitude up. And we're running here about 20 hertz, and we get a nice ring out of the thing. Okay, that's loud enough. Now, I kind of figured this out because we've got um, an IP phone at home, so I put the scope on our normal phone line to see what the ringing signal looks like, and I found this beast, which basically was 20 hertz and looks like about a zero to peak amplitude of somewhere in the neighborhood of 70 volts. So that's what uh, residential ring signal looks like, at least one that's uh, generated by my OMA box. Anyway, uh, that's probably three minutes worth of finding out what's going on uh, with this old phone.